Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me again today. Lovely to have you here. Today, this is our project. Um, it's a card I made for the Inspire Ink um, blog hop, monthly blog hop um, that was published today, Saturday the 29th of June. Um, I hope you've had a chance to hop around some of the other projects because there were some lovely ones there. But this was a sketch challenge, so I had to fit my card to the sketch and I'm just going to show you how I made it. I've used the new Above the Clouds um, bundle which is a stamp set and a punch and I always those of you who have followed me for a long time will know that I love a punch um, a coordinating punch with a stamp set so let me show you how I made my card started off with half an A4 sheet so and I've cut it vertically this time so instead of cutting it that way and then folding it I've cut it that way and I'm going to score it there so I'm going to take my trimmer so this piece of card measures 10 and a half by 29.7 centimeters or four and eight inches by 11 and three quarters so I'm going to score in the center which in centimeters will be 10 and a will be 15 ish 14.8 ish and in centimeters will be five and seven eighths so just going to score that there and take my bone folder and burnish that score line so now you've got a card that stands up tent like rather than portrait like which is how I usually do them but this way round it's really nice to um, photograph so that's that I've then got a die cut um, circle this is die cut with the largest one of the um, stitched frame stitch shape framelets and I've done the larger circle in whisper white and I'm just going to come in now with my balmy blue stamp pad and from the above the cloud stamp set I'm using the clouds for the moment I've got them mounted on a clear block already and what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink them up then I'm going to stamp off on a square scrap of paper because I don't want that intensity of colour. I want it paler. So and then I'm going to stamp onto my stitch circle. And I'm just going to keep doing that. So that's quite nice and pale. I quite like that. And it's paler than the one I did. But I quite like that pale look. So I'm not worried about that. I do just want these clouds to be... Um, I don't want them to be overwhelming. I want them to be sort of in the background. And then just one more. I'll put it on my sheet in case it stamps off. There we go. There, and that's all it is. And there's my stitch circle with my um, clouds on it. I then need to mount that onto my card. So, first of all, you can see on my card, I've got this banner here. Now, I'm using... Um, Oh, I need to remember what this paper's called. Hang on a sec. It is called Come Sail Away. It's Come Sail Away pack. And I've cut a piece that is four centimetres wide. And I'm just going to put that, pop that into my banner punch, which has got three settings. And this one will just fit just between. So it doesn't matter that it doesn't fit in those slots exactly, because you can push it through and you can see roughly where it is so you can just center it up yourself so this doesn't want to want to go straight there we go there so about there do you reckon yeah there we go and then that is going to go on there and i think i cut it roughly to 13 centimeters but i'm just going to do it by eye today okay and you can do that with the trimmer or you can just do it by hand with some scissors because it's only a very short <clears throat> oh sorry my voice is going there we go so that's going on our card there okay so i'm just going to bring my scrap piece of paper in before i glue because otherwise i end up glue with all, all over my grid paper and everything sticks to it so just a little bit of tombow glue over here which will be fine. There we go. Out of the way. And then I've got another panel which is cut from our um, Subtles pack of 6x6 six six designer papers. So you get um, a huge load of, pa of um, papers in four different designs. So they've got a reverse pattern. 
so I've just I've used a slightly different one so on this one I used this pattern on this one I'm using this um, dotted grid but does the same job and this panel measures so my banner measured 13 um, centimeters by four if you're in centimeters and one and three five eighths by five and one eighths if you're in um, Imperial I will put all these on my blog um, and my panel measures four and a half by eight and a half centimeters or if you're in Imperial sorry I'm trying to do two jobs at once here um, three and three eighths by one and three quarter inches and then that is just going to go slightly offset so none of this card is symmetrical it's all slightly offset and wonky there we go um, I'm then going to come in with my circle and mount that and again I'm not going to mount it centrally I'm going to mount it off centre with some dimensionals which I have got out so just give me a minute while I find my dimensionals here we go and my tweezers so just pop a few dimensionals. I'm using the large dimensionals here. The small ones would be fine if you wanted to use them. There we go. Don't need that many. I'm going to pop one more in the middle just to make sure it doesn't sag down in the middle when I start sticking, sticking things on it. And just take the back and just take the backing off the um, dimensionals like so. And that is then going to go on my two panels here back under there there now i need to do some stamping with for my um, balloons so i've already got this balloon um, mounted up on a clear block so i'm going to take some memento and i'm going to stamp that go and then I'm going to take the stamp with the three small balloons and I'm going to stamp that as well do that over here like so and then I've just need to do the basket which I'll do there and then while I've got my black momentum ink, ink out, I'm going to bring my card back in and I'm using a different sentiment on this one. I'm going to use Life is a Beautiful Ride. The other one I put Let Your Dream Soar. This one I'm going to say Life is a Beautiful Ride. So I'm just going to ink that up and stamp that there. There we go, lovely. Okay, so that's all the memento ink I need, I think. And then all I need to do is come in with my marker, my blends pens. And I'm going to do the balloon in slightly different colours today. So I'm going to start off with balmy blue. So this is why we um, why we did it in a memento because then you can use your um, blends and they will they won't run. So I'm going to do balmy blue first of all. I'm using the brush end and I'm doing the light balmy blue first. And then I'm going to come back in with the dark. The nice thing about these blends is you can see lines to start with, but as they dry, the lines all disappear. And I'm going to come in with the dark one and do some shading. So I'm going to go around the outside part of this with the dark pen. You can see you've got that nasty line there, but because the blends are so marvellous, that will disappear go over it with the pale one again and that will all blend together you see there great and if you wanted to make that a bit dark you could go over that again I'm going to carry on I'm going to come in with them um, call me clover and again I'm going to do the light one obviously you can take a bit more time over your coloring I'm rushing this because I don't think you particularly want to sit and watch me coloring too much Although I guess it's useful to see how the shading goes. There we go. I don't know about, I don't know where you are, where you're watching, but in the UK we've had a really hot day today. So I've just stayed inside. Our house tends to stay really nice and cool in this hot weather. It's about 32 degrees outside, but it's only about 25 in my house. So I just tend to stay in and craft or do things 
um, while it's like this I can't bear it being so hot outside so our house is like a sort of self air conditioned house really there we go and then the last colour I'm going to use is Highland Heather so like I said slightly different colours on my balloon this time but this green and blue and purple combo is one of my favourites at the minute I've been doing a lot of things in that right and then just again come in with the dark and back in with the light it really is quite magical how that makes these lines disappear they just blend there quite happy with that and then I need to use the same colors to do two of the balloons that are going to go on the back here so I'm just going to quickly I'm not going to um, blend or anything with these I'm just doing one color on these little balloons might actually be easier to use the smaller nib on these ones um, there we go and then call me clover I'll turn this one over and use pencil point the bullet I think this is called a bullet point um, there we go I really have loved using the blends they've really transformed my crafting it means I've been able to buy stamps that you need to color whereas before I used to avoid them because of my coloring was so childish so immature but now I'm loving it so if you haven't bought any blends I would say buy a few and give it a go um there okay there we go and then i'm just going to come in with the brown with the bronze blend and color in the basket and the little baskets at the bottom of these ones there so now i can come in with my punch which i haven't got out where's my balloon punch oh it's behind the tripod oh typical it's behind the tripod leg so just got to try and get it out without knocking the tripod too much Aha. I hope that's okay right it's one of the most important things I needed for this tutorial and I forgot to get it out there we are but the advantage of doing all these videos in my craft room is that I've got everything within reaching distance really so that's all right there we go so there's my balloon and then I've just got to maneuver this bit be able to do like that so take that off there maneuver this bit to be where the balloon is you can punch these together if you line your stamps up um, but, but if I was doing lots I would have done that but I'm only doing one so I didn't mind doing them separately there we go how are we doing for time oh I'm on 13 minutes I've got to hurry up right okay so let's get this mounted on here on some dimensionals wherever I've put them oh where have I done with my dimensionals oh there they are put them miles away right so a couple of dimensionals on my balloon pop him on the back here it's just I'm hurrying because my camera will cut off after um, 16 minutes because it's a camera and not a camcorder so it doesn't like doing really long videos there we go and then my not the basket with the colour there we go I really need the small dimensional if I can find it quickly which I can't oh there they are there we go yes I can so a little tiny dimensional on there and then the other two balloons I fussy cut just around the black edge like so so if my video does cut off can I just say while I'm doing this thank you for joining me today I hope you've enjoyed seeing my card you've seen most of it now I've just got to finish by sticking these two balloons on I am I am um getting a new computer soon and it will be an iMac it will be a Mac and that will mean I can record on my phone and I'll be able to record as long as I like then because I'll have um, editing software and stuff on there 
um, but at the moment I'm still struggling along with my um, camera which records perfect videos but like I say we'll, we'll cut off after 16 minutes I've always used it as a bit of a guide because I always think that 16 minutes is probably plenty for people watching videos but sometimes when the projects are more complicated you want a little bit longer um, there we go and it has very rudely cut me off in the middle of a sentence before now there we go and there and pop that one there and there's our card so there's that one in slightly different colours there was the one I made for the blog hop hope you like my project today um, I did actually stamp a little bit in the, in, the, in the side the card as well and I'll do that on this one off camera um, and I'll take some photos and show you that but meanwhile thank you for joining me hope you enjoyed my project hope you'll have a go and I'll see you again soon thanks a lot bye <laughs>